Hey, in this video, I'm gonna show you my new nail routine for protecting my natural nails and getting them to grow longer and stronger. So about once a month, I do this routine and it starts with the basic steps. I push back the skin around my nail to reveal any cuticle that may be stuck to my nail plate. And then I will assess that. I usually use a cuticle pumice stick is that what that's called and i will just rub that sticky tissue away however if i feel like the tissue is too stuck i will use a an actual liquid cuticle remover but lately i've been doing this dry technique and it's been working just fine an important part with this pumice stick is to not push too hard because you don't want to scrape your natural nail you just want to remove that sticky cuticle tissue then i brush away the excess so i can see what i'm working with and then i will use a cuticle trimmer and remove any dead skin around my nail now you can remove as much skin as you're comfortable with but always be careful with this area because it is really sensitive and cutting too much could lead to bleeding which could lead to infection so please be very careful and make sure your nails are always very clean and your tools are very clean when treating your cuticles now i'm going to use a buffing block and i'm just going to etch the surface of my nail this is going to make that surface not so smooth so that the product we put over top just adheres better then I just cleansed my nail with some rubbing alcohol and a lint-free wipe and I made sure all the debris was totally removed from my nail. Now for the products side of this routine, I will be using a gel. So I first applied this pH bond dehydrator. Then once that dried, I'm gonna go in with a base gel. Now one trick I have slash tip I have is when applying your base coat gel, I like to really scrub the product into the nail. I'm not using a ton of product, but I'm making sure every nook and cranny, every part of my natural nail is fully sealed in with this base gel. In the past, I've just slapped on the base gel and it wasn't even, and then I felt like my manicure didn't wear as long as it could have. And I think it can be chalked up to not applying your base coat gel properly. So this is the secret sauce that I've been using to help my nails grow. This is a builder in a bottle gel. I'm sure you've heard of it. I'm really liking this one. It's from ASP and I like the clear one. There are tons of colors to choose from, but I like the clear because it makes grow out virtually invisible and I feel like filling in grow out is way easier. So here's how I apply my builder gel. I start right below the top moon area of my nail and I carefully push up a blob just until there's a little tiny hair of nail. And then I'm going to pull the brush down and I'm gonna move it horizontally back and forth across the entirety of my nail and sort of like a curve motion, pulling and guiding the gel across my nail, manipulating just the product back and forth this is gonna give you the most even coverage. To add more strength to your nail, I like to turn my hand sideways and then with the product, draw a bead of product down the center of my nail, mainly focusing right on that center point to really build up the apex. This is gonna do two things. It's gonna strengthen the structure of the nail and honestly, it looks just more aesthetically nice. It has a really pretty curvature. One trick I have for that is to flip your hand upside down once you apply that. Gravity is going to pull that product right to where it needs to be, flip it back over, and then fully cure. Then the last step is to apply a 
no wipe top coat gel, or you can do a regular top coat gel and cleanse off the sticky layer. But I really like no wipe top coat gels. And I did just apply that like I applied my base gel or a regular lacquer. And I did take it across the free edge to seal in that builder gel cure that and then finish with a hydrating oil to really soothe your skin. This is gonna keep your natural nails stronger, allow them to grow out. And then in about two weeks, you can do the same thing. You don't even have to remove the gel. You can just file it and just fill in that grow out. Super easy, keep doing this and your natural nails will be stronger than they have ever been. I've been doing this uh, for the last year just about. And although my natural nails are short, I prefer them that way. They are so much stronger than they were a year ago. So I highly recommend this if you struggle with breakage and brittle nails. As always, I will have everything I used in the description box below. And if you have any tips or tricks or even products that you love and recommend, share them down in the comments below. I love for us to just be a big community sharing all of our nail experience and knowledge and just helping each other create DIY manicures at home. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to stop by and I'll see you next time. Bye.